Oh, welcome once again, Steve Massey. Here we are at Blaze Park, FA County Youth Cup Competition semi-final stage now for Cornwall. Obviously, uh, we've covered them for the last couple of games. And uh, are you our lucky musket or what? I'd like to think so. Yeah, I'd like to think so. <laughs> oh, it's uh, yes, yeah, it, uh, all the guys are su superstitious, aren't they, and things. And it's uh, yeah, maybe maybe the lucky omen. Let's let's hope so for today. We've seen them here uh, in the in the quarterfinal beat Sussex 2-1 after extra time. Bit of a bit of a grinding down sort of match. What are we expecting today from the from the opposition, Durham? More of the same. Really, more of the same. In fact, it's probably a higher tempo. Um, I watched them against uh, Leicester, and they uh, were two 0 down inside under under ten minutes. But I tell you what, that's that really, really mo motivated them, stirred them. And um, even, even if we go, happen to, you know, fortunately, go maybe go a couple of goals up today, um, it, it won't it won't be it won't be over. Believe me, they'll still keep coming and coming. And that's their real, real strength. And for us, Cornwall. I mean, who are the players that you would want today to really stand? that and do their bit i think uh the young matty that's come come back in, into the set well they're all young aren't they <laughs> compared to me now and here so, but the young uh, matty coming i think uh with his his aggression um and particularly his pace and his little bit of now up, up up front as well will really unsettle them at, at the back so i see them uh i see him having a big show uh in the game um and young ollie down the down the line, I just look, I love people running at running at people. The excitement. Well, defenders hate it. Defenders hate people running at them and things. So he'll be another um, uh, guy that you're looking to maybe you know just tip the balance for as you get the day. But I think as they've played in the last uh, three four games that, have, that we've, we've seen them in the cup competition, um, the real strength is is with them. I, I, I'm looking for another real, real good team performance today from the guys, and they'll be up for it. And what a great occasion for them today. Great occasion and, and obviously we'll be covering it on Pure Films after the break. If you are a local business and looking to have engaging video on your website or social media, then visit Pure Films and download our free ebook using online video to maximise sales, five simple steps. Um, Turner with the corner. Atkins almost got a touch. Harrison almost got a touch and it goes off for a goal kick. So Ed Harrison with the free kick towards Turner. Turner with the header and uh, Robinson behind it. Uh, Forbes gets away from Turner. Bailey to uh, Alderson. The best of crosses, but not the best of clearances either by Walker. And then the ball in again towards that far post. Quillam doing well, coming off his line. And now Penrose, can he uh, break on that uh, punch out? But Parker was there. And hard, and hard work, and maybe in good positions, but then giving away again. But um, it's an interesting game. Oh, oh that's a great cross by Milburn. Uh, almost uh, David Latham heading uh, on target. And Pamley. Heads it away for Cornwall. It falls nicely to Turner, who could get perhaps Adkins to have a run. Adkins against Kirby. Good cross. Good. And it's there, a bucket at the far post. We have 20 minutes on the clock. Cross by Joe. Adkins finds Bucket and Bucket is back in business. Brilliant. Three. What do we say about the front two? Um, I made the comment earlier that the front two were working well together. Lovely little ball, just threaded down again down the side of the centre house for what will cause them problems all day long. Leicester undid them that way. Um, great play by uh, Atkins. Great ball into the box, and there, the, there at the back post, just a little tappings, but he's there. Arrived. Great stuff. But, um, now we've got Durham on the break. Alderson. Great challenge by Ollie Walker. Got space in front of him to run. We've seen that. What can he? What can happen with a good cross? As Walker challenged by Harker, still on the ball. Still Walker. Oh, and in fact, then it's a missed kick by Dominic Curl coming off his foot and Paul will win the corner. Words said between each other at the moment. There's a man loose at the back. Kick comes in. And it came off, Alan, well defended. Cornwall in possession. And now we've got Harrison uh, attacking, doing well, getting it to Ollie Walker. He's challenged by number seven, Luke Bay, in the 
Crouch should could be seeing the first yellow card of the game. McMahon to Keynes. Durham quickly putting uh, Cornwall under pressure in this early stage of the second half. And that ball headed away by Allen. Durham on the break. Alderson on that far side. Finding Forbes and then straight to Keynes. Cross comes in and great defending by Joe Allen. Having to head it over his crossbar. It's Keynes knocks it too far forward. Cam Turner getting it out of danger. That'll hold up in the wind and Adkins is there. And it's a penalty. Came across him and this could be... This could be the, the, the welcome uh, moment for us. Great, I just... It's as if he had a little mic in his ear from, from Miro. He said, just looking for a little bit more from Cameron in the middle of the park. He was so impressive at Gloucester in the last game. And they dominated the game with his size. Here we go, Matty Buckham with the call. With the goal, with a penalty and straight into the corner of the net. No messing from the number nine. 2-0. Superb. 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 You're Matty Buckham again. But um, I was just saying earlier about... Just the, just the, the feeling, you, you, I've, I've been there, you have pressure and pressure. Get it, and don't get that equaliser, you don't make that breakthrough and you stand strong. And then what happens, you go at the other end, banging another one, you've just got to stay strong. Well, certainly now for five, five, ten minutes now, just just see this five, ten minutes out. And um, it's, it's, it's a great position to be in for the Cornish boys now. That's, out. That's the first time he's had an effort in that area. And we've, um, Watch it was straight to the straight to Gwilym. Uh, Milburn is on running in on goal. Gwilym is there, punches it away. Great save by the, uh, the number one keeper. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm just looking. I'm just looking around the, the Durham boys now. The little body language. The first time they're just hands on the hips, hands on the heads, just thinking oh, maybe they were expecting that um, to go in. Certainly, he was the little magic that got them back in the game, won them the game against Leicester. But, um, is that is that a defining moment? Is that the defining save? <coughs> oh, what a play for a throw! No, no, Milburn no, turns, tries to get it in, but uh, Latham was surely. But the referee had put his flag up then for a second. As McMahon suggestions of an offside. I thought for a moment I even saw the assistants put his flag up. I was uh, certain it was an offside. Certainly was offside as, it, as it's as it's come back back into him. Um, but, but, um, yeah, that'll be interesting to look to look back on that one. Whether it was was off, it certainly looked from here that it was offside. But um, there's nothing that nothing that we didn't uh, expect. So Brandon Alderson, lining up for a, a long throw in towards the box. Harrison is there. Oh, Buckham. Penrose is making a run. And that's a brilliant pass by Buckham now. Penrose will run at the uh, Durham defence. He's looking up, he knows Atkins is in there. It'll chip towards Atkins, but over the number 10 and uh, keeps it in play. Back to Walker. Nice teasing play by Ollie Walker. Can he line up a shot? He does, but just wide. Milburn to McGuire. Cross comes in. And uh, now that's a challenge by McMahon on Allen. And it's a yellow card for the number nine. What's he going to give, I think? Buchan not able to do anything but to use Ollie Walker. Now he's got the ball again. Great ball to uh, to Turner. Appeals for offside, but Cam Turner is on the ball. Now, can he keep it there for four minutes? <laughs> Ollie Walker's trying his best. Great stuff from number 11. Looks up, he wants to cross. Comes off for two Durham players, and Walker's got the ball again. <laughs> In the end, he can't keep off five. Durham players as uh, Walker looks up. Win it, win it, win Otto's it. got to win that ball. Nathan. We're in added on time now here at Blaze Park. Hamley doesn't mess about. And Rose has got to win that ball somehow. It comes off every part of his body. Now he flicks it towards Atkins. The keeper is out as well. But uh, good decision by Robinson. 
Tyson sticks a leg out, but Harker's on it for. And then that's a, that's a yellow ball. Everyone in the stand here, including Steve Massey, is getting home the ball. Pass. Otto, well played, Josh Otto, he wins it. And that's a sliding tackle by the number 11, David Nathan. And it's a red card. Referee straight away reached for his pocket. Where the call players are in there trying to interfere play. It was a sliding tackle which uh, David Latham and uh, now even Josh Penrose is getting the yellow for perhaps uh, uh, waving towards number 11, waving goodbye to David Latham as he leaves the pitch. Yeah, he's, he's arguably probably their um, best player on the day, the dangerous player. Was dangerous player on the day, but uh, yeah, it was a, a red card all day, all day. It was dangerous, it was reckless. Um, and um, again, the boys are not being intimidated, they've stood up well. Uh, dare I say, they've been well prepared. Oh. Atkins on the ball, that far court. Victory for the Cornish boys. Steve Bassey, sum it all up for us. Ah, superb. What a feeling. What an absolutely belting feeling. Because make no, make no bones about that. They were against they were against a good side. They were against a side that intimidated and bullied. Um, certainly Leicester in the quarterfinals to, to be here. And and, and didn't and didn't uh, Cornwall boys uh, stand up strong. Charlie Hamley at the back, what a tower of strength for the captain's performance he did in there. Matty Buchan, um Adkins up up, up front linked well uh, fully fully deserved they had they had to put up with a lot a lot of pressure in the second half but didn't they stand up strong to the wise and show that um, yeah what the Cornish are made of great Cornish spirit there today well done everybody yes and indeed they've done it for the first time ever a Cornish side at this level under 18 in the FA Kenny Youth Cup into the final is finished here today Cornwall 2 Durham 1